welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. As you can see, my canvas has been poured on and it's been scraped. I did a beautiful ghost swipe on it and then it started drying and the paint started cracking. So I scraped it off um, and I'm going to do something else on it. Um, I'm going to do a flip and drag. I have no idea why I was so inclined to pick the colors that I picked. They're actually kind of like Easter, to be honest. Um, but I'm using the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white. The Artist Loft Light Magenta. Um, Artist Loft Light Purple. Artist Loft Aqua Green. See what I mean? Very springy easter and we're going into fall winter um and then i have this anita's metallic craft paint this is in metallic fuchsia um i'm not trying to get the little cells that i get from the anitas i just wanted to use this color in um in this flip and drag so this is my color palette and i really hope that I'm able to like cover cover up this part with these because um, this paint did dry, but it wasn't very thick, so I think it will be all right. Okay, so I have five cups. Um, when I do flipping drags on this, this is a ten by twenty. Um, I do like to use five of these cups. These are three ounce cups. If you have a Sam's uh, Club, like the warehouse near you, that is where I get my paper cups from. They have um, these. I think this brand is Members Mark. It's like the Sam's brand. They're the cheapest. And um, they have them in three ounce. Actually, I think they have one ounce cups. But uh, I don't get those just because it seems pointless um but they have three ounce five ounce which is what i'm pouring from and they have nine ounce um the three ounce do not have a wax coating on the inside so i used to mix in the three ounce cups because that's a really good size to mix paint in but it because it doesn't have a wax coating on the inside Sometimes the paper, when you're mixing, the paper of the cup will um, come get loose and will um, go into your paint and you'll have texture. So I, I've stopped mixing in the three ounce cups. And I'm mixing the five ounce now. Um, in the light purple, I added two drops of the color pour cell magic. That's the only color that has silicone in it. Um, I've mentioned this a couple of times that um, I don't like. I used to like silicone a lot, but I've really gotten away from it. You can achieve cells with um, specialty paints and if you get your pouring medium right you can achieve cells and the reason i'm not as crazy about silicone as i used to be because i used to put it in everything but um when you put varnishes on it is quite um a task to get that silicone off the canvas and if you don't do a very good job at getting it off, it will leave little pits on the canvas when you put the varnish on. Or if you are putting a resin coat on. Um, because it's doing what it's supposed to do. The silicone is supposed to repel. And that's what creates the cells. But um, it also repels the varnish and the resin. And... So you get those little divots in your um, top coats. I am putting a thin layer of the white in between 
um, each color just because I, I wanted some white in it. Um, it's not a lot though. I think my next pour, the next batch of colors I mix up, I'm going to do some neutral tones. I hadn't done uh, like browns and my favorite color palette. I hadn't done it in a little bit. So I have got about probably about 25 canvases that are dried and cured. I need to go through them and see which one do I want to put a varnish on and which one do I not. Um, sometimes we create pieces that's just not once they dry, they're not what we thought they were. And if it's not exceptional, I don't put a varnish on them just because I pour way too many pieces to keep every single one. Um, I do need to find a way to... I was told that um, you can put alcohol on dried canvases, like if they've been painted. You can put alcohol on it and it will cause the paint to lift off. Um, I did that with some coasters. I can tell you it is a pain in the behind to try to do. It is so messy. And it's almost like not worth the effort. But I've probably got a hundred canvases that's dried um, that I don't like. Um, I'm never going to display them or offer them for sale. Um, a lot of times, it'll be like, I like the most part of it, but maybe a portion of it cracked, and it's just, you know, it happens. Um, so I don't know. I did see a lady, she had taken some of her canvases that were like that, that had done that, and she had cut out the portion of the canvas that she liked, and she had did it like a like three piece set in a frame and that was really cool I thought that was a really cool idea so I might do something like that I'm not entirely sure though but the point of that is I'm running out of room and um, I need to sort this out I need to sort out the situation Let's see, my gallon size jug of pouring medium. I thought I had mixed up enough white, but apparently I did not. Um, it's really kind of hard to know if you've gotten all your white mixed up because it's the same color as your pouring medium. to the side I'm going to put a lot of white down for my base because I'm trying to like cover this um, situation that um, that's already on the canvas so Typically, you would not put this much paint down. I know some people are like, don't use your hands. That's gross. <laughs> it really does bother some people. I know it does. I'm sorry. But sometimes it's the easiest way to get the paint spread out. 
Um, okie dokie. What do I need to do first? I need to torch this. I had someone ask, um, why sometimes whenever I'm, I'm doing flipping drags, I don't torch as soon as I flip the cups and the paints out. Um, someone asked, why don't you do that? Um, okay, I think this torch is giving up the ghost. Um, the reason I don't is because torching silicone creates a whole bunch of tiny cells and it stretches them out whenever you do it before you stretch your paint. That's the only reason. So usually I'll torch this base and then um, I'll do the flips and I'll stretch out my paint and then I'll torch. At least that's what I've been trying to do, to um, remember to do. No, I'm not good at flipping my cups. Um, some people are beautiful cup flippers. I am not one of those people. I make messes. And that's okay. So, it's a really pretty color palette. It just is a bit out of season, I suppose. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's drag. One day I will learn how to do perfect little drags. And you can see that silicone has already made some cells. Um, this color palette would be cute for like um, a little girl's room, I think. We're just going to get a big old mess if I don't stop dumping my paint at the beginning of the drag. There. That's better. Thinking about the things I needed to do, I need to make up some more pouring medium because I'm down to one gallon and I usually keep about three mixed up because I really have to set aside time to like mix up the pouring medium because I can I just don't like having to do it. It's not my favorite thing. Okay, this is doing well. I'm going to turn this around because I like to pour away from myself. Let's see, I'm going to put some here on the corner instead of trying to like um, get that little bit over the edge. I've got to pour off this portion and this portion. Um, that's where I've used the, I used the, um, little bit that was left in the cup. Alright. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get any more. 
let's pick it up and see hmm. okay I'm okay with that my edges are covered oh yeah okay so As you can see, the cells that were created initially, you see how large they've gotten. And, um, you know, some people like those, and that's okay. But I like to have some smaller ones. So that's why I'll go back and torch once I've stretched my paint cell. Got a little bubble that don't want to pop. Are you a bubble? Oh, no, you're not a bubble. Alright, I'm gonna get another one, right? Oh, what was that? I don't know, but I'm not gonna mess with it because it's gonna mess it up. drive me bonkers there I got it I got it <laughs> sometimes it's like I'm you remember that game uh, operation where you had the little guy and you had to go take things out of him and not touch the side or it'll make the noise. That's how I feel sometimes when I'm playing operation on my paintings. Um, but okay, well, so now you see I have the big cells, but I also have these little ones that come up from me torching. So I've got, you know, some interest. And, um, yeah, this is really pretty. I think it's really pretty. I think it's, it's very much like a little girl, um, like unicorns or mermaids that comes to mind with this color palette. Um, but I like it. It's pretty. It's bright. Okay. I'm going to take you down and we will get some close up. You'd see all those pretty cells. So there you go. There you have it. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you have a good morning, day, evening, night, wherever you are. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.